friends in this video we are solving a problem on multiple integrals given problem is evaluate integral from 0 to a integral from y to a x square by square root of x square plus y square dx dy by changing into polar coordinates by changing into polar coordinates given problem is integral from 0 to a integral from y to a x square by square root of x square plus y square dx dy nothing but it is a double integral in a Cartesian coordinates now we are evaluating this problem by changing into polar coordinates how to change into polar coordinates means friends you see in place of x we are substituting r cos theta in place of y we are substituting r sin theta and in this case you will have x square plus y square is equal to r square and also we are changing the limits r and theta then dx dy will become Jacobian of dr d theta. Friends, you see where the Jacobian is nothing but the transformation between x comma y variables to r comma theta variables. You will have the Jacobian is equal to r. So in this case, dx dy will be r into dr into d theta. This is default whenever the given problem is in a Cartesian coordinate in the region r f of x comma y dx dy is there. Then we are converting into r dash that is in polar coordinates just we are replacing x is equal to r cos theta y is equal to r sin theta dx dy is r into dr into d theta so is it clear for everyone how we have to convert this one next to finally we need to find out the limits of r how you can find out the limits of r and theta means based on the region here you observe the integration they are given limits of x and y x limits which are the x limits here it is a function of y whenever it is a function of y then obviously this is the limit of x only so what is the x limit here x is equal to y comma x is equal to a and what about the y limits y is equal to 0 comma y is equal to a y is equal to a so you see friends whenever x is equal to y comma x is equal to a y is equal to 0 comma y is equal to a you have first i am uh, drawing x y plane in the x y plane I will draw the region x is equal to y line so x is equal to y line means this is is it or not so this is x is equal to y line next whenever uh, x is equal to y here they are given x is equal to a so obviously y is equal to a so same line only in this case next x is y is equal to 0 whenever y is 0 x is what 0 so 0 comma 0 point and a comma a also a comma a also whenever y is a x is equal to a uh, next you see friends here whenever x 0 y 0 we have whenever x is a y is equal to a we have they are given x is equal to a x is equal to a is nothing but which is parallel to the y axis so this is the point a comma 0 and they are given y is equal to a only y is equal to a means okay you can say this is this line also you can say but you observe are they given the point 0 comma a x is 0 y is a are they mentioned here nowhere they are mentioned but they mention y 0 but not x is equal to 0 so you won't take this region so our region is only this is is it clear for everyone we won't take this region because they are not mentioned x is 0 okay they mention y is 0 only y is 0 then x 0 this is the point y is a x is a this is the point and x is equal to ms this is the point y is equal to ms this point but here they are not mentioned clearly is it clear for everyone so from this you can see a comma 0 but you can't say 0 comma a now in this region we need to find out the limits of r and theta you observe first you have x is equal to y what is the x value you have r cos theta what is the y r sin theta so from this r are getting cancelled then you will have cos theta is equal to sin theta friends when you will get uh, r is r uh, when you will get cos theta is equal to sin theta in the first quadrant theta is equal to pi by 4 only so you observe in this case the region is occupied in the positive quadrant that to half of the positive only that to 0 to uh, 0 to x is equal to y line 0 to x is equal to y line means theta is from 0 to pi by 2 so now i am writing the region in terms of r comma theta so first i am writing uh, here r limit i need to write later i will write the theta what is the x value you have x is equal to r cos theta is equal to a so what is r value now a by cos theta if you have a doubt what we have to do means friends in the region draw the strip already x is equal to y is line is there now at this point what is the radius 0 so r is lies between 
R value is 0 less than R is equal to R less than R is equal to up to maximum at the point A only. So, in this case, what is A? X is equal to A. Whenever X is equal to A, you can write R is R cos theta is equal to A. So, R is A by cos theta. That's it. So, this is the limit of R. Next, I want limits for theta. What is the theta limit you have? Already we discussed. This is half of the plane on the X is equal to Y. Theta is uh, started from 0 less than R is equal to theta less than R is equal to pi by 4. This is the method to write the changing into changing from Cartesian into polar coordinates. Clear? Now I am evaluating the given problem very easily you can do. Now integral from 0 to a, integral from y to a, x square by square root of x square plus y square dx dy will become r limits are first theta limits independent that is why I am writing theta limits. Limits from 0 to pi by 4 next r is equal to 0 to a by cos theta into what is x square you have x is equal to r cos theta is nothing but this is r square cos square theta divided by square root of r square because x square plus y square is what here r square into dx device r into dr into d theta that's it now integral from 0 to pi by 4 limits from 0 to a by cos theta and this is r r square is nothing but r cube r cube by r we have so what you will getting in this case you will have r square into cos square theta dr d theta here you observe r limit is a dependent on uh, r is a dependent on function theta so r is a function of theta so first we have to integrate with respect to r later i will integrate with respect to theta okay that is the rule to evaluate the double integral whenever the limits are independent you can do irrespective of order but whenever the uh, one limit is uh, dependent on other function then you have to integrate with respect to dependent variable first so i am here r is a dependent on theta so i am integrating with respect to r first right Now, I am integrating with respect to r. So, integration of r square is r cube by 3. Where are, what are the limits here you have? 0 to a by cos theta into cos square theta d theta. Here I forgot to write dr. Right, anyway. Now, 1 by 3 is a constant you can write outside. 1 by 3 times of integral from 0 to pi by 4. If you are substituted upper limit, then you will have a by cos theta whole cube. That is a cube by cos cube theta into cos square theta d theta. So, in the numerator cos square theta and denominator cube getting cancelled, then you will have in the denominator cos 1 by cos only. So, integral from, this is a cube is also constant, I can write outside a cube. Integral a cube by 3 integral from 0 to pi by 4, 1 by cos theta d theta. Nothing but here, a cube by 3 integral from 0 to pi by 4, 1 by cos is nothing but secant theta d theta. So, what is the integration of secant theta we have? Log of more or less of cos theta plus tan theta. So, a cube by 3 times of log of secant theta plus tan theta. Limits from 0 to pi by 4. So, if you are substituted upper limit, this is tan, uh, first log of secant pi by 4. Secant pi by 4 you have 1 by cos pi by 4. Cos pi by 4 is 1 by root 2. So, secant pi by 4 is root 2 plus tan pi by 4. This is tan theta friends. Tan pi by 4 is 1. So, upper limit is over minus lower limit. Secant theta. Secant theta means 1 by cos. Secant means 1 by cos theta. 1 by cos 0. Cos 0 is 1. So, 1 by 1 means 1 plus here you have uh, you see tan 0. Tan 0 is 0 only. That's it. Now, in this case, upper limit is this one minus lower limit means log of 1 plus 0, log of 1 plus 0, okay. You need to write like this because upper limit for this minus lower limit of this, okay. Now, a cube by 3 times of log of root 2 plus 1 minus log 1. What is the log 1 you have? 0 only. Therefore, the value is a cube by 3 times of log of root 2 plus 1. This is the final answer. Is it clear for everyone? Right. Thank you for watching this video. This limit is clear, friends. You see, 1 by, uh, at theta is equal to pi by 4. What is the cos of pi by 4? 1 by root 2. So, 1 by 1 by root 2 is nothing but root 2. That root 2 here, here I have written. Friends, if you have any doubts, okay, and uh, if you want uh, more number of the problems, please give your valuable feedback in the comment box. 
Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to share to others.